If this happened to you in uh, your LCD screen broke on your resin 3 printer or just it doesn't work anymore and you want to know how to change it from the hallowed one from Creality, I'm going to show you how to change the screen. To be honest, I don't know if I want to change mine, if I want to spend more money on this printer, but I'll talk about that later and let's start. So let's take first the screen that is damaged. Basically there's many ways to do this. A lot of people say just go in with a heat gun, go around and just try to remove that glue and that is uh, what is attaching the screen on your printer. Some people say you just need a blade, no? Any kind of blade that uh, it can go inside the corners and you can go around and peel that off. I have both but to be honest I only use this tiny screwdriver that I had and I went around twice and and I pushed and I tried to take away that glue because my screen already was kind of shattered, it has multiple cracks so I decided just to push it really hard in one corner and it was easy and slowly to go inside to put my screwdriver underneath this, a, a little part of the screen and be able to just lift it right away because I have the cracks I damaged more this screen some pieces even just flew away so be careful because you can cut yourself you can maybe uh, hopefully you don't have tiny pieces going inside your printer but basically I just went around and I was surprised that I only work on like one inch and I was just trying to lift it up it was cracking it was being destroyed the screen but suddenly before I got to the corner just the whole screen pop out and I was able just to grab it. So now that we know that we can remove the screen now let's disconnect it from the printer. So the way to do it is if you have the printer in front of you on the right we have a panel that we need to remove. So to do that we have on the top we have two screws that we need to remove and we need to take also the ones on the panel all the way at the bottom. So when we do that it's going to be really easy just to slide the panel and you can just take it off and you're good to go. You can see everything inside. You're going to see this kind of orange golden connection that it looks like it's only attached with a tape but no. You have to remove the tape and you're going to see it has some kind of tiny square that um, has tiny pins that connect to the other connection. So you have to remove that. It's really easy. I barely touch it and it, it snap out. So after doing that, you're good to go. You can remove your screen. It's really easy just to slide it off. Uh, something important to know is that this connection has the part, the number. So you can double check if you have the right part or you can use that number to just Google it. Uh, I know that uh, Creality has one. I found for the hallowed one on Amazon. That one, I don't know, it was the cheapest version, but some people say when they put it on, it wasn't working. So a lot of people commented that the, only, the solution was just to do an update on the firmware and that fixed it and it was able, they were able to use it. To be honest, any single 3 printer, no matter which one, you're going to have to, at some point, to remove the screen. It's just they die. They have a specific time, specific cycles where they're gonna show the the layers uh, but like you can see it really easy after that that you already know that you have your part which actually let me make sure to let you know that be careful don't touch that number because I was touching it and actually I was erasing the number so the ink wasn't the best so just <laughs> be aware of that and then when you have your new one it's so easy just to slide it no, it doesn't have like a specific way to put it. Just, just slide it in 
and you're going to be able to see it you're going to be able just to attach it again like i mentioned before this tiny square where is the connection it has some pins so you can actually going to hear a tiny tiny click so you're going to know that it's attached and then you put just the tape close the panel and you should be able to just print only you have to do the update there's several ways to know if this is is not working now if your screen is not working there's a few ways to know before you replace it but as some people say the easiest thing is just to turn it on you can put it in a cleaning mode so you can see the screen you can see if it has any defects uh, the important thing is to see everything even but also you can send maybe a print and uh, in, without having the vat without having the bed just look how the layers are showing up and you can tell if something is, is not working some people recommend to have the UV protector others that you can from far away just to look and try to see some they don't care and they just look at it that's just things that I've found people do online so take it at your own risk I don't know if I want to spend money on this printer because uh, from Creality, it's not that expensive, but I found the screen to be almost half of the printer. And even if I get a cheaper one, how long it's going to last? I don't know, and I'm not saying don't do it, because, I mean, you have the printer, it's, it's better to remove one part, to fix one part. But I'm in the point that I, I was so excited, I wanted to do other videos for my channel where I was going to print a Wolverine clothes. And, uh, and I wanted to do other things. Also, I always wanted to 3D print like the helmet of the Mandalorian. Well, Star Wars is dying on me now. But uh, Wolverine and others, uh, other characters. But for sure, this water print mini mini miniature claws, miniature helmets. So I know I can print parts and glue them together, but that's a nightmare more when it's so small. So I'm trying to think to something bigger i mean i cannot afford something huge but a little bit more bigger than this for sure i want to do that so remember this is sculpting channel but uh, uh i'm gonna take my time to try to find like the best printer for me that i can do more things for this channel uh for sure i'm gonna do the review when i found i find the par perfect one uh but uh, i'm gonna try to take my time and not rush to see which one i really want so saying that if you want to know more about 3d printing check out my 3d printing list enjoy art and see you next time